Developing now, this Golden Gloves boxer defied the odds, survived growing up in a tough Chicago neighborhood, graduated valedictorian, went off to college, but today, Ivory Hall, seen in this documentary, is charged with murder in Alabama. CBS 2's V. Win live at St. Sabina Church, where Hall was convinced to turn himself in. V. Brad, that's right. Ivory Hall turned himself into police in Alabama on Friday after talking to Father Michael Flager here at the church. Father Flager sponsored him and wanted to see him succeed. So news of the murder charge came as a shock to him and everyone here at the church. Everybody think that I can't do it. His life was featured in this 2018 documentary. <laughs> Ivory Hall opened up about his struggles and his life growing up on the south side of Chicago. How's y'all going? In through your nose, out your mouth. He turned to boxing as an escape and St. Sambita Church for help. He lost his mother when he was very young, later lost his father. He was homeless on the streets, surviving on the streets. And, um, but he always had a determination to wanting to do better. Father Michael Flager says Hall turned his life around and described him as a walking miracle. He gave up the street life, graduated from Tilden High School as a valedictorian, and got a scholarship to Alabama State University. We try to be family to him and help him and support him, uh, wrap our arms around him and do what we do here with all sorts of young brothers and sisters all the time, and try to be there to uh, help him succeed. Father Flager says Hall was home in Chicago about two weeks ago. The two met and talked at the church. He soon found out that Montgomery police in Alabama wanted to question Hall about a murder, and he arranged for Hall to turn himself in last Friday. First of all, you know, my prayers are for the family who lost their son, their brother, a friend of people in, in down at Alabama State. You know, that's tragedy. And now, and my prayers are also for Ivory that we now find out what happened. We're, what was what was the scenario? What happened? Hall is accused of killing 22-year-old Adam Dowdell, who was also a student at ASU. He was reported missing on September 8th. His body was found near campus last Monday. Investigators say Dowdell had been shot. The motive still unknown. I'm, I'm shocked and I'm hurt and I'm, you know my heart's broke on this because again here's the scenario. You know, a young man is dead. Another young man's in jail. Now, Hall is charged with one count of murder. Right now, he's being held in the Montgomery County Jail in Alabama. His bond is set at $250,000. Reporting live outside St. Sabina Church, V1 CBS 2 News.